Hey class, it's Alex. Let's do a quick GitHub overview and hopefully this helps you with your GitHub endeavors. So I'm gonna start out with creating a repository. This one's pretty straightforward. Uh, your URL will be a little different. Mine's github.com slash alex dash And then I'm on the repositories tab. So if you wanna create a new repo, you can either do it from this page or from the top right, um, actually it's this one, the plus sign, just do a new repository. So we'll wait for that to load. So I'm not gonna use a template and let's just call this like some test repo for video. Just so I remember I can delete this and we'll make it public. And then in general, it's really good practice to add a readme and then you can skip the git ignore and then for the license, you don't really have to worry about that either. But now we're good to go. And then when you're in this repo, you might want to do some uh, operations. So one pretty common operation is creating an issue. So you do that by going to this issues tab and then selecting a new issue. And then we can call this some test issue and then one ipsum is just some placeholder text used pretty frequently online. And so here we have an issue. You can tag someone by writing an ampersand symbol. And then depending on who's a collaborator in your repo, you can tag them. And so you can comment it that way. You can also assign someone from this gear icon. And because I only have myself on this repo, I'm just gonna assign myself. And then depending on the type of operation you create, you might be able to add a reviewer, but that's not really relevant for this issue. Another thing you might want to do is add a collaborator. And you do that by going to the settings, access collaborators, and then I have mine set up so that I have to do a two factor authentication. So give me one second. Should have done this before the video, but it's okay. Kind of forget sometimes. Usually when you're in your settings and things that can potentially wreak havoc, uh, GitHub will ask to make sure it's really you so that you don't get wrecked yeah. as easily. Okay, cool, I'm authenticated. And so if you wanna add someone as a collaborator, you just add people. And this is where you would search for a username for like someone, you know what I mean? And then you'd add them. And then you'd be able to, after they accept the invitation to collaborate, they can be added in issues as an assignee, a reviewer on pull requests, and it's a lot easier to interact with them within your repo. Okay, so let's go back to the code pane. Another common operation in a repository is creating a branch. And I've asked you to do this one or two times already. And so you can do this by clicking this down icon where it says main, and then let's call this branch some branch. And then we're gonna select this create branch, some branch from main. Awesome. So now we can do operations on this branch we've created without affecting the main branch. So this is great for collaborating on teams. So let me create a file, um, some file.txt, and then we'll just do hello world as the contents of the file. Um, let's just commit this file directly to some branch. And so now you see our some branch is no longer an identical copy of main. If we toggle back to the main branch, you notice we only have this readme.md. If we return to the sum branch branch, we have the readme and a sum file.txt. So a way that um, teams collaboratively kind of merge their work is using something called a pull request. And so we're gonna compare our branches and then open a pull request to kind of merge in these changes to main. So, we want to merge, we're comparing some branch with main. It looks like we were able to merge. 
So let's create a pull request. You can also create a draft, but usually I'm gonna ask you to create a pull request. Cool. And so now you can see that we have this new option for reviewers, and this is where you can't really select yourself as a reviewer because you want it someone else. And so because I don't have anyone in this repo besides myself, I can't really assign a reviewer. But in the case of our assignments, there will usually be or always be someone else. And so you can assign me. Uh, and here you can see assignees, I pop up. But a reviewer should be someone else besides yourself, especially when you're working in a team and merging changes that could potentially uh, break stuff. It's always good to get a second opinion. And so if you want to merge a pull request, which I may or may not ask you to do, it just depends. Uh, you can just click this merge pull request button and then confirm merge and you're good to go. And if you want, you can delete the sum branch branch and clean up your workspace. Now, if we return back to the code pane, we only have one branch, but we do have our sum file.txt. Um, cool. And then I guess one last thing, we'll create a project. Um, I guess we can go here and do that. So we'll create a new project from this repo. And then let's just select this start from scratch table, create. And then if you want to add an item, you see how there's this plus sign. So we can add an item from a repository, which is kind of awesome. Well, let's first just do a adding an item without kind of linking it to an existing issue. So some new item in the project. Cool. And so this is not an issue yet. It's just kind of this like in between item. And so we can also bring in an issue into our project. So we can do this hashtag pound symbol. Then let's select some, oh, what is this called again? The repo, I already forgot. <laughs> test, yeah, test repo for video, nice. And then we're gonna select the sum test issue. And now we've brought in our issue into our project. And you can see how this reflects all of the um, kind of changes we created previously. And if you want, you can click the link here at the top and this will open a new tab, redirecting to the issue. And you can see now that there's a project associated with this issue. Okay, so this has been a quick run through of GitHub. Let me know if you have any questions, if this helps. Um, hope it does, but uh, as always, just reach out and try to make it easier for you. But yeah, thanks, have a good day.